Does height matter? Of course it does. Step on the scale. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not going on a scale. You should love a girl for who they yeah, are. You should love a guy for who they are, no, regardless of height. I'm not stepping on a scale. Why? Because I'm not. Okay, so take it back. I'm not taking it back. So weigh yourself. No. If you Yo, this man is diabolical. I have never thought about that. Does height matter? Of course it does. Step on the scale. <laughs> My short kings. My short kings, we have finally found some ammunition to fight with. And it's something so simple as a scale. Oh, the Lord has blessed us. You're being a coward. Wait, you're ridiculous. And you if you care about height, you're ridiculous. Mm. But you don't need to know an exact number. You don't need to know an exact height. Exactly, I don't. All you, all I, all you gotta know is that they're taller than me, and that's it. Okay, I want you to be lighter than me. Step on the scale. No. Does height matter? It definitely does. It, it does? It does? You said height matters. It does. All right, and weight matters, so step on the scale. What? Let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's scary as fuck. Why? What do you mean why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. Mm. Here's the crazy thing about that, right? For us, we can't change our height. Or, well, we can have surgery. But you can change your weight. All you gotta do is eat right. I know we have some I know we have some plus size sisters in here. And I'm not coming at you plus size sisters. As long as you don't partake in the the short man slander. You feel what I'm saying? If you if you partake in the short man slander, well, you the ops. And I got a present for you. <laughs> Yo, black slang is just white phrases, but opposite. Watch this. White people. Wow, she looks really good. Black people. Damn, she's bad. White <laughs> people. Sure, I'm up for that. Black people. Yeah, I'm down. White people. <laughs> Tell me more about this plan. Black people. Bet. Say less. White people. I'm in. Black folks. We out. White people, you messing with the wrong one, buddy. Black folks, you got, got the, the right, right one, one today. today. <laughs> That's so cool. Black folks, that shit's fire. Yo, black slime. I never thought about it like that. Damn. I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson. Earlier today, Elijah thought he's going to drive through St. Lucie County in a stolen vehicle and get into a car crash, working closely with the Florida Highway Patrol, not only on the sea, but on land. Elijah's now in custody. Our message is this to criminals. Not in St. Lucie. Oh. I'm St. Lucie. St. All I'm going to say is don't get locked up in Florida, bro. This is the second commercial I have seen. That's disrespectful. Yeah, me. Yo, that man said, Master Chief, Concrete General, you prepared to die for that? I am. Yo. If, listen, bro, if it's that good, I don't want it. What do you do after you lose your best eater? And I'm not talking about a good eater. I'm not talking about a great eater. I'm talking about your best eater. I'm talking about a generational talent. Okay? I'm talking about what he has contributed to the game is similar to Mike Jordan in basketball. I'm talking about top five. I'm talking about top two and maybe not two. Maybe. What do you do when you have to cut your best eater off the team? Somebody answer me. Quick, quick. What is this blasphemy I'm hearing? I ain't gonna lie. We as men, we be talking like this. 
you know, because it's, it's some women out here with generational talent. To hear a young lady speak like that is crazy. Now, I'm not saying she's wrong, you know. I don't, you know, I don't know what some of you, some of you, some of you boys is crazy. I will say that. Some of you boys is crazy. I don't hear stories now. I don't hear stories of dudes driving two hours just to come sample some cat. And I ain't, I ain't, I ain't talking about beating drums. I'm talking about literally taste testing some cat. You feel me, boy? My boy out here, like he, he, he living in, in, in the slums of Beijing, bro. He out here killing and eating cat, okay? I couldn't believe my ears when I was hearing that. Imagine driving two hours, not even to pipe, to, to snack. I done seen the messages. And you know, you know, <laughs> you know what make it worse? You know what make it worse? This will make it worse. I seen the messages after I was finished spanking the cheeks. And I'm like, yo, so you ain't... Because, you know, when Shorty was telling me that, I didn't believe it at first. I'm just like, really? So he just drove two hours just to come, just to come over there and do that? She's like, yeah, you don't believe me? Look at the message. I don't care if it's a t-shirt, a hoodie, we're tucking it. And it's not so other people can see my ass. It's so I can see my ass. What is that movie? Will Smith is not Will Smith. Is it Will Smith? Right in the hole. I don't know if it's just this mirror, but I look huge in like a good way. In like a, you know, a little way it says. Um, <clears throat> young, young lady. You know what, ma'am? You you are uh, gifted, and I appreciate you for sharing your talents with the world. And uh, mm, you know what? I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm married. Okay. Let me let me stop there. Uh, what I would say, there's nothing wrong with you doing that for you, but please understand that because of the current social climate and dudes being labeled as creeps for doing. What human beings do, you know, male human beings would do, this kind of becomes uncomfortable. I'll give you an example. So, for those who don't know, I go to the boxing gym. And at the boxing gym, we have women in there that come in to work out. And these women, I'm not going to lie, a lot of them look like Instagram models, bro. And they wear stuff like this or, to keep it 100, they be wearing the, the short shorts. You feel me? Something that we have to do in the boxing gym, let's say I'm shadow boxing, Okay. And let's say they're they're right here. If I'm shadow boxing, I can't face this way. It's not them telling me I can't face that way, but it's me telling myself because I don't wanna be shadow boxing this way and now I'm a creep. You know that it's a whole bunch of men in this gym and you bending over and you stretching and you doing these workouts, you know, I'ma see something and you know we going to look. Once I look, now you're going to look at me like I'm a creep, even though you give me something to look at. So when I shadow box, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I might make a full circle, but I stop right here. I, I don't make a full circle correction. There's not a man in this world that's going to be able to convince me that I'm asking for it too much. I'm just not going for it. See, I understand that y'all have created this narrative that black women only deserve the bare minimum or we should be okay with just accepting struggle love just to say we have somebody. But I won't be one of those black women. And black women, we need to stop settling because majority of us deserve way more than what we have been receiving. See, I grew up around providers, so I know what it looks like. I know what it looks like and I know what it feels like to have a man pour into you and love you properly and protect you. I get it every day from my brothers. I know exactly what it's supposed to be. There's not a man in this world. Hey, first of all, shout out to that man right there, bro. He a funny dude. I like his videos. Um, ladies, you guys want providers, but you don't have the level of respect that you should have for a provider. I've dealt with enough women, and I've had conversations with enough women to know that I do not want to be that guy who's going to spend a whole bunch of money on a date for you, who's going to chip in to pay your bills when you can't afford it. I'm not going to be that guy because a lot of times I'm not the only one. I'm not going to be a player on your team. I was telling, ooh, this should be a good conversation for me and my wife. Denea! What? 
Ooh. I I can't have her be a part of this because <laughs> I can't tell the story that I'm about to tell y'all, so I can't have her be a part of this. But basically, um, this happened a few times. But me and her was having a conversation earlier today, and I told her that when I was talking to, to women, when I was talking to young ladies, I never approached the situation like, I'm trying to be on your team. I always approach the situation like, all right, you got a team, you the head coach, I'm the assistant coach. That's how I always approach the situation. Meaning that the young ladies felt comfortable enough to tell me about the dudes that they were dealing with and situations that they were in. And You heard me calling you? You didn't hear me calling you? Damn, you sensed it. That's crazy. All right, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hi, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need you to look at. Hey, I'm gonna stop playing. Come here, come here, come here. All right, look. I just need you to look at this video right quick, and then I'll tell him my, give him my spill. Okay, let me sit because you got my stomach on like full display. Let me see when you're like, Nobody care about that. I care. Club, I care. Love that food. I care. Oh, oh, my back. Oh, my back. Are you serious? It's, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm a soldier. So I can sit on your back, but I can't sit on your lap? Let me see what you said. I like what you said right here. Mm. That's so close. Play this. All right, just hit the space bar. There's not a man in this world that's going to be able to convince me that I'm asking for too much. I'm just not going for it. See, I understand that y'all have created this narrative that black women only deserve the bare minimum or we should be okay with just accepting struggle love just to say we have somebody. But I won't be one of those black women. And black women, we need to stop settling because majority of us deserve way more than what we have been receiving. See, I grew up around providers, so I know what it looks like. I know what it looks like and I know what it feels like to have a man pour into you and love you properly and protect you. I get it every day from my brothers. I know exactly what it's supposed what to be. What is he doing? There's not a man in this world that's going to be point. able to convince me that... How you feel about what she said? Why are you asking me? Why? So how you feel about what she said? I believe that that's her truth. Oh. Oh. Are you, are you, oh, did the last video give you a look? Come on now. <laughs> the last <laughs> video got you hesitant? <laughs> no. I believe that that's her truth, though. All right, let me ask you a question, right? Why do you feel as though men now are having such a hard time providing for these new nope. I'm just, I'm, these new young ladies? Why do you think men are having a hard time right now? Why do I think men are having a hard time providing for the new women? The new women. Give me. When I say the new moon, like the, like the social media age women, because I feel as though a lot of the problems that we're having right now between men and women is created by, is because of narrative that have been created by social media. Yeah, by social media, women and men. Yeah, both. I said okay. that's why I said men and women. Yeah. Men and women. Okay. But why do you think that men are having a hard time? being providers um i think i think if i had to put myself i guess in the man's shoes or whatever um maybe like they sense a sense of entitlement and like the level of entitlement that they sense from you know the women it kind of like repels them I can agree with that. The new mindset that a lot of these women... Why are you looking at me like what that? What is the new mindset? I'm saying the, the social media mindset. Like, I can get into it later. But I feel as though for what they want, they're not really giving off enough. And a lot of times, the only thing the do really want is respect. Well, I mean, I think that... Like, what this woman is saying, right? If... um, I would say if a woman who really embodied that... She wouldn't. I ain't gonna say she wouldn't say it, but. Mm, but 
but that's what you're saying. Yeah, I'm saying like she she, she wouldn't be saying that. She, she wouldn't she, say it. She would speak. Her actions would speak louder than her words. Mm-hmm. Her mm-hmm. actions would speak louder feel, than her words. Feel, ooh, they gonna like you. Her baby. energy would, you know, like sometimes I do think that like we as women sometimes we could like just talk a little too much. Like just pre- present to me what you're gonna present. Let me just see. Like even early when we were talking about. I was saying that. I was saying, well, I told you so I could say it. I, I was kind of hesitant on calling it. I was saying that like. When I when we weren't together and I used to be out here dating, I always positioned myself to be the assistant coach of the team, and that's how I kind of learned a lot about how women move. Mm-hmm. And like for me, based on stuff that I've seen and I've conversations I've had, I wouldn't want to be the guy going all out, paying for somebody bills and trying to be the pick me, only for her to be having a conversation about me, basically making fun of me. Well, I think I'm doing something that a man should be doing. Well, I think I'm doing something romantic. I wouldn't want to be that guy. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like um, this narrative that's being pushed is doing women and men a disservice, right? Because you have women, you know, young women who are really working hard towards their goals and who could really benefit from a man that genuinely loves and cares about her helping her. Without taking advantage. Yeah. And that's what I was really trying to say in my other video. It was just like, I just had my goals in my mind. Yeah. I was not thinking about anything else, even how to treat you as a man. Yeah. To motivate and elevate you. Yeah. Because I was just so focused on, I have to succeed. This is the way it has to be done. This is the only way. You know what I'm saying? About doing it like you had to do it all yourself. And I thought I had to do all myself and work hard. And, you know, that's why the, the sex, sexual energy at an all-time low. Because that was nothing I never... I didn't really explore it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I was focused on survival. So, like, had, you know, the dynamic been different, had we known about, you know, like, I known about femininity and you knew about, like, protecting and providing at a certain yeah. level... We would have been more beneficial to each other at a younger age, and I feel like we would have gotten further because we would have like been in unison and one accord as opposed to just being like parallel, you know. And I think that there still is a large group of young women out here really with their shit together, mm-hmm. striving and thriving who do want a man that's generally going to protect and provide mm. and that she could give her all to like physically emotionally mm. like she does in the other areas of her life but what we see in a lot of is like yeah you know i'm gonna manipulate and use you and i have this roster but mm. that's that's not always the case sometimes mm. it's just like this load that i carry as a woman is heavy because Women, honestly, we were not meant to carry all this by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do it because, like, we live in America. It's capitalism, circumstances, whatever. Mm -hmm. But deep down, we would like a a partner, a protector, everything. Like, y'all want us to call y'all daddy, but as a woman who grew up with a father, Mm -hmm. my father was there for me. I could could breathe wrong. He's like, what's wrong? He was thinking about a new coat for me before I wanted a new coat. You know what I'm saying? You got a new daddy now. I understand that, and that's why, like, when it's traditional when you get married for the father to walk the daughter down the aisle and give the daughter to the the son-in-law, yeah. because it's like you you're fulfilling that role. So yeah. it's just like it's just not a sexual name. It's like everything that come with that. Yeah, you I know. Understand. I understand. And even yeah, like I was, I listened to what you said about that, and I was like, this is why. I I wouldn't have been no man either, but I had to. Babe, I'm telling you. I, th- I think, too, like, the longer you wait to have sex, like, the easier rejection. You you don't, you're not faced by rejection. What I mean by that is, like, because, you know, back in our day, waiting till you 18 to have sex is a long time, right? So, mm-hmm. when my friends would have, like, their boyfriends and I had to talk to the friends or whatever, and they would be trying to, like, woo me and say all this stuff, and then they realized that I wasn't coming out them drawers, it was like, fuck you. Da, da, da. Or like just they would just ghost me, right? But yeah. I was used to the ghosting, so I, I didn't feel 
emotionally attached. Yeah. So same way when we was in college, we had like a little break and I was talking to like men and stuff. It's just like, I just enjoyed the vibe. Like it wasn't like I'm using them or I was like, okay, you want to talk to me or you want to, you know, take me out or whatever. Like I'll go because I do find you like interesting, but it wasn't like I was hoping and praying for something more. You know, it's like you in front of my face right now. I don't really, I have time for you. Let's just, you know, like, yeah. I'll, and then when it dies out, because I expect it to die out, it'll just die out. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you learned a lot, but I was just like, like you know, like, whatever. So you learned a lot, or I learned a lot? No, you learned a lot about women oh. during that time, yeah, and you and me, wow, I just wow, always wow. had the same expectation, like, y'all just want a thrill, and when the thrill is over, you're going to leave, so I'm not even going to give you, like, the sexual thrill. The thrill you're going to get from me is the thrill I'm willing to give you. And when that's not enough for you, you'll go find your high from somebody else. That's exactly... Yo, that's crazy you said that, son. When I was in school, like, I we, you know what I'm saying, when we broke up and stuff like that, I kind of found myself around different people. Because now I'm, you know, I'm single. So now I'm around it. It's really out here going crazy. It was a lot of regretful box going around. What does that even mean? Regretful box, bro. I ain't gonna call no name, but there's one dude in particular that chicks was giving, they was giving up the cheeks and then that post-nut clarity. Oh my God. That, yo, son. Like watching porn? No, that, yeah. That's what, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that's exactly what it was, bro. That post-nut clarity, son, was crazy. Like, I remember when, <laughs> I remember one time, so he's had some joints come over, right? Mm-hmm. He he went crazy, like he was in the we was in the we was you know how, like like you know how shit was. Mm-hmm. So he was doing his thing, bro. He was in there going crazy. So the next morning or the next day, I think they end up coming back over, and like she was around him, and she was one. It was one of those like. So the women had the regret. You yeah, said? it wasn't him. So no. like, he, was he a cornball? He was a cornball. Oh, they he didn't was... see that before they fucked him. No, like it was a lot of post net clarity, son. Mm. And but I, I say all that to say like, it's a lot of joints that was out here uh, living their best life, and they regret a lot of them bodies that they caught. Mm. There's a lot of there's a lot of chicks that regret a lot of them bodies that they caught. I witnessed this firsthand because he used to be he used to clap a lot of cheeks and I want to say ninety five percent of them had post cla- post nut clarity. So what you did? Did you swoop up and like mind your business? Don't worry about what I did. I was I was because you just so observant. So I, how do you I, I know you're always best. looking for an opportunity space to fill in the cracks. I, look, call you what you call that shit? You What's that I white shit you use? I don't know. Call you the cock man. You you fill in the gaps. Why you felt like that would be the correct word? Cause that's what it's you call silicone. It? We we call it silicone. Silicone fake. Cock, cock sound like powerful. You won't get my my videos demonetized because oh, they're gonna think it's something else. Oh, cause it sound like yeah, silicone. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. sound like the other thing. It's silicone. Jesus Christ! That's why sometimes I be hesitant to put you in a damn video. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna talk my talk. Jesus, Lord, but yeah, son. Like, I'm talking about joints just to ignore this man in school. And he'd be wondering why. I'd be like, huh. But, like, he was one of them dudes, too. Like, even though he was, you know what I'm saying, getting girls some, sometimes or whatever, he's one of them dudes that, like, you was hesitant to bring him around because he might mess the situation up. Mm. Like, that was him. So he'd be like, and we, you know what I'm saying, I'm hanging around him. I'm like, yo, how? Like you don't want to be a hater, but at the same time you like like but you wait, said. Wait, you sure some of the girls ain't telling other girls like yo, this this girl is certified. You don't think none of that was going on because women be talking too. You don't think I wasn't that. thinking that far into the situation. I just was around him and I was like, I right. like son of cornball. Like like I right. this, this type of things he would do though. This type of thing, this type of thing he would do, and that's why I labeled him a cornball. He'll get some cheeks, and then he'll tell everybody. Mm-mm. You feel me? Or, like, he'll, like, let's say he'll clap something, and then we in school, and shorty might walk by, 
he would like do certain things to make it be known that he kind of <laughs> he clapped and shit. Yeah. See, see what I'm saying? So like corny stuff like that, and I'm like, bro, like why are you even doing that? Like what's up with you? Yeah. Who mans is you? Like why are you doing that? I hate. I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate niggas like. That. Listen, the game is to be sold, not told, man. You feel me? That's true. Ain't, that's... ain't nothing like, ain't nothing, hold on, I'm finna say something. Nah, don't look at me, hold on. What you laughing at? You laughing, I don't like the way you laughing. What you laughing at? What's, what's, going, what's going on? Huh? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna say because you get upset. What? I was just, I was reminiscing on our conversation. I was like rethinking why I got so upset when, you know, it was like, I miss you. And I was like... No, not to do that. Oh, yeah, because like, he, he was a cornball. Like, you know, when my emo, especially it's like Beyonce, when she was like, you wish I was your baby mom. Boy, you know I look good as fuck. Walk around and give you good karma. It's like, I know you know what I'm working with. I don't need you to put that on a public post so, a so everybody could be thinking like, oh, he's saying he missed so That must mean like, yeah, why would a, you? Because he was a cornball. So I guess I get what you're saying with the whole post. That was my one post thing, like, yeah, really that was, though, that's what we doing now. Yeah, son, that was that was some that was some cornball shit. So was a cornball. And you never get it again, even if I was single, because you posted it where everybody could see. Like the, f I don't like that. This is, bro, that's that's cornball yeah, situations. Like yeah, but yeah, son. When someone was on, someone was doing that. I'm trying to figure out what, the, bro. Yeah, I learned a lot during that time though. I came down here though because I miss you. I didn't hear you call man. I was all the way up to the night bedroom. Oh, are you shy around too? Yeah, and then some dinner. Like you had promised. Bro, motherfuckers always trying to eat. You said you was gonna take me. Alright, alright, alright. I'm this could be the last video and then you I just bring my laptop. You go eat. Okay. What? Nothing. Oh, don't, that is so disrespectful, really. Well, no, it's my son. You, I told you, I, like I pulled my back. You need to start doing yoga, baby. And then I, I, then I end up going to the gym and shit. Yo, when we were sparring, son. Did you record it? Nah, I should have though, cause like I, I would have been able to kind of review it. But I was tired, son, cause he had me doing, he had me doing all the, he had me like shadow boxing. Then I did like a whole bunch of other workouts, and then like in the middle of that. He's like, all right. He's over there strapping his shit up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next I was tired. Record, yeah. Take one of your tripod. Post that my this week. Yeah, I'm going to have to. All right. All right, guys. This is the video for today. I holla. Did you get your t-shirts? Y'all sweatshirt yet? Oh, yeah. Go. Come tell them. Yeah. Did y'all get y'all sweatshirts yet? Come on now, because the shirts, the teeth is coming soon because it's getting warm. But for mm -hmm. right now... Get you a hoodie. Get you a hoodie. Get you a get you an overdose last you, hoodie. You you put on a new color? You should call that Georgia Peach. Peaches ain't pink. A peach pink? The, no, this is pink. I'm talking about the new color. Oh, the joint upstairs. Mm -hmm. You showed them that yet? Yeah, I had it in another video. Yeah, that's that's my favorite color yet. Also, y'all see a color that y'all want that's not on the site? Let him know, because... That could be fixed real quick. Oh, the advertising is crazy. Uh, it's like that Kanye commercial. When he was on a bus? When he was the Super Bowl commercial. When, when he was on a bus? He was on a bus? I think he was in a car. Bus car somewhere not well lit. It don't matter. Damn, y'all nigga. I'm a Gemini too. The message, was, he didn't, that was some Gemini sh It was a Gemini sh Yeah. I said it's a, it's a perfectionist side of so a Gemini. Made, and then it's the like, this what you going to Get. So, alright, that little commercial that he probably shot with his phone made him $20 million. I know. Oh, all right. Because he did a lot of perfectionist Gemini shit before then. Do, you do realize that. I'm just talking about that one particular I, I understand what that. You, what, 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 because how? I don't understand what you were saying. Kanye was like, everything on the on Yeezy is under $20. And I came in here and I promoted your brand. I didn't say the same thing he said, so I didn't really get what you were saying. Because then that's what he said on the Super Bowl commercial. He was just like... Somewhere in the, you know, he was moving around and he was like, Yeezy.com, everything up $20. And I was still trying to process what he said. Yo, imagine, not no homo, right? Imagine, like, how, you see how I was just talking about the dude? What dude? And we wouldn't bring him certain places because he Oh, you calling me a cornball? No, 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 I'm not. 
to go in that far, but he messed the situation up. This is what you just did. You could just went with the flow. I'm working on that. You could just went with the flow. You even I'm had to do. On you that. just messed the damn commercial up. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I could never mess up a commercial. I'm in it. What do you mean? No bias. All right, guys. This is the video.